Hi guys, Pizza here. In this video, we'll have a sneak peek of the new upcoming class collaboration between Ragnarok M and Cooking Master Boy, Lu Mao Xing. But note that everything is still subject to change since it's still on the close beta test server. And also special thanks to Kremisai and Bacon for the skill translation. With that said, now let's get into it. First of all, for transparency, there's what I think is a feature in the close beta server, wherein, when you enter an instance, there is a bonus 10k attack and 20% penetration. As you can see here, as I entered Ponape's secret realm, the magic attack and magic penetration went up, but don't worry, I tailored the setup of the account close to a veteran semi-casual player. I only have meal bees here, and note that I didn't take any food because of Lu Mao Xing's passive skill, which boosts his max HP by 5%, and magic attack by 10% for every food he eats and can stack up to six times. This is just to ensure that we don't have high damage modifiers. And for the equipment, I only use a plus 10 weapon with only minimal card setup. As for the shadow equipment, I only equip the offhand and garment just to reach the 200% ignore magic defense. Also, I did not equip any arcane rune, and the handbook is trimmed down to 100% depot and 3,652 magic attack. Before starting, buff first with Treasure Mountain Dragon Pot to boost magic damage by 10% and can stack up to 5 times, so with a total of 50% magic damage. And then followed by Miracle Comet Fried Rice, which provides a damage absorbing shield based on his magic attack. When the cooking succeeds, shield duration will extend to 60 seconds and can now absorb HP loss. On my auto attack, I only have Great Magic Panda Tofu, which deals fire and equal water magic damage, with a 50% chance to apply burn. And when the cooking succeeds, enemies within a 5 meter radius will consume the dish, dealing fire magic damage based on a percentage of his magic attack. By the way, I also consumed fire controlling alloy for extra damage. As for the whole screen AOE damage, just use Miracle Comet Fried Rice, since it's more than enough to tank the damage since it gives a huge amount of HP shield. Note that it's best to have his core to level 7, so that his cooking process cannot be interrupted. And Lan Fei will cook an identical dish at the current location, which results in more DPS. Basically, that's the only key skills that you need to finish Ponape's Secret Realm. Just spam Great Magic Panda Tofu, and then always remember to cast Miracle Comet Fried Rice if you see that you don't have HP Shield anymore. And then buff up Treasure Mountain Dragon Pot for the 50% magic damage. By the way, just in case you need sustain, you can also use Red Sea Beam, which restores 5% max HP and SP to yourself and allies within a 12 meter radius for every second within five seconds. You can also use Crystal Phoenix, which grants death immunity to yourself and allies within an eight meter radius. With this setup, it took about seven minutes to solo the instance. I think players with proper PvE gears will be able to finish this faster once it comes out in live servers. We will have a full, detailed explanation once he's out. Again, everything is still subject to change because it's still a close beta test server.
Overall, I think Magic Class users will have fun playing Lu Mao Xing, as he is easy to play, has good DPS, and can sustain damage as well. I know there are a lot of videos out there already with Lu Mao Xing soloing Ponape Museum Legend 3rd Floor. And it's true, I already tried it too, but the stats are with more of a veteran casual spender setup, which I will also show in the next video. I think that he will be the new magic class that you will prefer partying with in finishing Ponape Museum Legend 3rd Floor, because he still has stable DPS, even without the expensive PvE gears. And since he can also provide support to the party, which will make the run easier, as for making a utility, I think it's also possible. Or even a hybrid build, the setup will be like playing L. We will just have to find out more about it when he comes out on the live servers. Because it's a bit hard to do trial and error in the close beta server. To test gears that are leaning more on the side of our casual players. And since there are only a few players to test it with. If you have questions or want me to test something, just comment down below. I will try my best to find out more about it. That's all for the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching.